up top and just that. You know, it's Dutch De Niro you're representing for Dutch De Niro Top Slide TV. Yes, my family. My day, I know. My day, I man. Everything up, everything good, everything up and running. You know what I mean? So, as we always have a little COVID chit chat, you know. It come right back round to COVID again. Yeah, man, a COVID around the place, you know, you know. Sadly, but I saw you go, we have to just go and work with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, so, when me have to try to show you, say, you know, see? Family shocked after COVID claims paycheck. You know what I mean? So, you have some people we are walk around and talk, say, they don't know nobody were dead from COVID, so COVID no real. You know what I mean? You have some people we are walk around and a close up and a close mark people like them a play football. You know what I mean? You have some people you sit down in a store and them sit down right beside you. You know what I mean? They, like them drop them chair beside you. If you sit down side of you, they not try if you sit down two seats or three seats apart from you. You know what I mean? When they come stand up, they come stand up right in your face like you wore them. You know what I mean? Yeah man, you have some people they want to talk to you and they not even have on a mask. They mask under their chin. You know what I mean? You have some people they want to grab up your hand them. Like you're at church. You know when you're at church and feel shaken. You know what I mean? They want to come grab up your hand them and grab you up like they feel like say COVID now keep. But that one you have to remind them say COVID still a keep. So make a go in it. Hey, stop that. Stop that. So, family shocked after COVID-19 claims paycheck. Three weeks ago, Sanja Thomas, Sanjika Thomas showed up at her father's home in Augustown, St. Andrew, hoping to surprise him. But her dad, 54-year-old Courtney Thomas, wasn't at home. She left intending to visit him at another time but before she could he was hospitalized after testing positive for COVID-19 Thomas died two weeks after being admitted at the Kingston Public Hospital KPH Sandrika 18 and that said that her dad was sent home from his job a week before being hospitalized after showing a symptom of the virus. He was at work and the HR manager heard him coughing and giving and gave him seven days to stay home. He never really showed much symptoms, but he wa went to a private doctor and they gave him a referral to go KPH. She said, he never had any underlining issues either, so I don't know how he he. It just killed him like that. She added, When we were talking to him, he could hardly breathe. We, so we had to hang up the phone. He was on the ventilator and life support machine. Sandrika revealed that her family is having a hard time coping with her father's death she said they have no idea when he will be laid to rest with all these restrictions and changes we can't even start to plan anything because we don't know and to make it worse he died from covid she said I have lost a lot of weight since my dad died. I have sleepless nights and I just can't stop crying. My brothers and sisters are the same. I was really close to my dad. So I feel it. 
I know that people are dying from COVID, but I never expected to lose anyone from it, especially my dad. Right now, I know how it feels to lose a loved one. Up to Sunday, 536 Jamaicans have died from COVID-19. Globally, there have been more than 2.7 million deaths. The country has recorded more than 35,800 positive cases with 18,801 of them being active. In an attempt to flatten the curve, the government has imposed various restrictions. Burials will, uh, will now only be allowed between Mondays and Fridays between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. The number of mourners is restricted to 10 with an additional 5 persons which must include clergy, grave diggers and undertakers. Burials must not last longer than 30 minutes. The government has also instructed that all students and teachers return to virtual learning until April 13th. The number of attendees allowed at a wedding is now 15 down from 25 while the limited and general gatherings remains at 10. Having lost her dad, Sandrika believes that the tightening of the restrictions is necessary. She also urged Jamaicans to take heed before it's too late. COVID is real and people should stop playing around. Please don't wait until it's too late. I never used to take it serious, but now I wear my mask everywhere. Eh? <laughs> so, you see what I'm going there, so? So, you can stay there and go and talk about COVID not real. And it's not a pandemic, it's a pandemic. And a trick them, a tricky people them, and one bag of this and one bag of lula lay. Let me tell you something. COVID is real. You know what I mean? Eh? If you see me in a picture, I'm in a have on my mask I'm because it takes before COVID. Eh? And if you remember seeing me without a mask, because COVID never keep in a them the time there. A long, long time that you did see me. Eh? Let me tell you something. COVID a keep. COVID is real. You know what I mean? See this girl here, you know, you have your father, you know, Chang Chang man, you know. You see me in my picture, you know, Chang Chang man. Still a work, still a everything. Take care and pity them, him, pity them, love him. The man just what? 54 year old. A young man that, young boy that, still a bat. Eh? And look here. In that, I go to check him. And eh, she not see him. And she see her right one. Next time, me I go give him a link. Me pass you. By the time she pass you, next time. Then leave him off at work for seven days. COVID-19 that. Sin to me, my calf, calf. So then see her right. Take seven days. By the time, you go see one doctor. The doctor refer him to KPH, say, alright, go over KPH. Carry this, go over KPH. By the time he reach over KPH, you know, make it. You know, make it back home in dead. 
big chang man, he man not no underlying sickness. So when them have said this and that about COVID and you don't know nobody were dead from here, don't believe them. COVID is real. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. It better a man trick you and you find out saying trick you. Eh? More than you jump in a hole and dead. Because cho, a tricky my trick me, me a jump in there. And when you jump in there and dead now, what happened? You're dead. Eh? But when you find out, say, oh, a trick in my play. Me not jump in there. Eh? You live another day. Right? So, it better, it better a man trick you. You understand? It better your mask up and everything and feel like, say, yeah, man, COVID is a trick. More than you say, chum, me not put on no mask, me not social distance, me not sanitize me and them. You know what I mean? So up top and just that, you know, it's Dutch Nero you're representing for Dutch Nero Top Slide TV. Yeah, remember, you know, remember to like, share, right? And subscribe, right? And the comment box now, the right there, so. Where we can talk about this, you know what I mean? And we can talk about your COVID-19 experience, if you're afraid of it or... You know what I mean? Any little thing you want to talk about COVID, you the right there, so you know what I mean? And if he's a family member of this person and you want to share some more insights on what really go on and what really happened, no problem. You know what I mean? The comment box is right there. So up top and just that, you know, it's Dutch De Niro here representing for Dutch De Niro Top Slide TV.